guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be trying five different Easter projects that we found on Pinterest without any instructions. So I'm gonna crack these eggs, but I'm not gonna crack it like how you would normally crack it in like just in half. I'm actually gonna make some holes right around here. I'm gonna turn this egg into a nest. I'm gonna put the picture right over here so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like. I only saw the picture and I'm gonna guess this is how you make it. Oh, I feel like a chick, but from the outside. Okay, can I, ooh, ooh, ooh. Peel off the shell. Come out, come out. Pour the yolk out. We're gonna have to rinse this. So that's one. Now we're gonna do that again. That one came out a lot smoother. I'm gonna peel it a little bit more. I'm gonna rinse this one too. Now for the next project, I'm actually gonna make one of these. And it's, I think it's supposed to be a little chiclet inside and you can see its eyeball. So for this one, we actually just need a little hole. We don't need that big of a hole. Just a small little hole right here. I think this hole's good enough. Why isn't it dripping out? Uh, why won't you come out? Come on. You gotta come out eventually. Is this what Easter is all about? Yes, it is. Ew. Ugh, I think I got it. Now I'm gonna rinse this out. All right, after like forever, we finally empty out the eggshell. We have three of these with a little hole in it. We're gonna have to let this dry. We're gonna put it aside for a little bit and then wait. So for the next project we're gonna try is this. So basically it looks like they put like a, they have a water balloon in the middle and then they just kind of wrap a string around it. I think they dip the string in the glue to make it stay. I haven't ever tried this before, but it looks cool. So we're gonna try it right now. <laughs> oh, it looks like an egg, how cute. <laughs> Tie that up real tight. Woo, all right. Let me check if where I'm gonna dry it, if the balloons fit in there. Nope. All right, I found a jar big enough to fit it. I gotta check if it fits. Yep. Yup, <laughs> and we're good. Each balloon, I'm gonna do two colors, green and blue, and then another balloon, I'll do pink and purple. Let's do the pink string first. Smother that completely in glue. Oh no, did I tangle it? Helen, what are you doing? <laughs> they didn't say this was part of the struggle. I just have to find the end of this. So now it's covered in glue. I made sure of that. And then I think I just keep wrapping it around this balloon, going different directions. Wow, when this dries, it's gonna look super nice. Oh no, it tangled. Helen, how am I gonna untangle this when it's covered in glue? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. This is like a puzzle within a puzzle. Where where are you going? Maybe in the instructions, they teach you how to not get this tangled up. <laughs> There's glue all over the table now. All right, the pink string is on. This time, maybe I should hold on to one of the ends before I just dunk it in. Make sure every part of that string is covered in glue. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping it around this balloon. I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around, almost there. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna let that hang dry. And I'm gonna put this in here in our giant jar. We're gonna let that sit and dry. And now I have to clean my hands because I look like a mess. All right, let's check on our eggs to see how well they've dried. Um, not really dried that much. So you know what? We don't, we don't really have time to let it dry overnight. So I'm gonna do something that maybe we shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna use a heat gun and try to dry it. I just need to dry the, the big hole ones. So let's just dry these. It shouldn't burn, right? Because you put you put eggs inside boiling water to, oh, it's burning. I spoke too soon. My bad. <laughs> ah, but it's dried. You know what? We're gonna put these, ah, it's still hot. Okay, let's make our food coloring because we're actually gonna let the egg kind of soak in for a little bit 
So I'm gonna fill these three jars with water first. So we have a green, blue, pink, and purple. I kinda just wanna use the pink, blue, and green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mix this. Now we are gonna submerge our eggshells with a little hole. I'll let some water in so that it would make the egg sink. There we go. See how the water going in? So we're gonna let that soak while we work on the other projects. All right, for the next project, we're gonna make this one right here. So it looks like it's just a clothespin and you just kind of make your own cutout of an egg and a little, little chicklet inside. So this should be super easy, right? I mean, just glue it on. So I'm gonna get some construction paper, trace like an oval, and then I'm gonna draw a crack right here and we're gonna cut this out. Cut along the lines for the cracks. I don't think chicks actually crack their eggs like this, but this does look cuter. <laughs> now we are gonna make our little chicklet that goes inside the egg. <laughs> it looks so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna glue it to the clothespin. Just put a little bit of glue on the top and the bottom and stick it. I think I got it. One, two, three. <laughs> Look how cute that looks, I think. <laughs> I did it with no instructions. So for our next project, basically it's this. You get a bunch of tissue paper, it looks like, and then you kind of glue it around a bunny outline. So let's figure this out. So what they did is they got a black construction paper and then they drew it like a bunny. I'm gonna try really hard not to rip it. Okay, so we have cut out of a bunny's head. But now that I think about it, I think I need two. I should have done this sooner. <laughs> All right, so I have two bunny heads. Okay, now what I think they did is they got tissue paper and they just kind of got different colors and cut like triangles and just glued it on top of each other. Now instead of cutting it all separately, I'm gonna try to do this the smart way by folding it like this. I'm gonna draw a triangle and I'm gonna cut that triangle out. And look, now we have a bunch of triangles. Now, I think what they did was they got some glue. Tap a little glue here, like a little bit onto the other ones. I'm just gonna repeat this for the whole bunny, okay? So, let's go. Kind of go around one more time. Cut off all these little excess pieces. I think I'm done. And judging by this and looking at what other people made, I would give myself probably a three out of 10. <laughs> Without instructions, this is really hard. I don't know how they did it without getting it stuck everywhere and like how they got it to match. How did you get the bunnies to match? All right, continuing our little exception after we tried it with a heat gun, I'm gonna try to make a little nest inside of the eggshells. So you can do it two ways. You, one, you can go outside and find some like dead weeds and try to make your little haystack, you know, like a little bird's nest or, you could do it like me and get a construction paper. Cut these like super thin. I'm pretty sure it would look better if you got the hay outside though. But I'm gonna try to make this look like I got it from outside. We have a bunch of these little, little strings of paper. Kind of twirl it in my hand. I guess you can do that to make it look like a hay, like a nest, right? Is that what birds do? They just twist it on their fingers? Twist it onto here, put it in here. That looks good. I'm gonna take the rest of this and then put it into my other eggshell. If I was a bird, I'd live in here. In the picture, they were kind of hanging down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a needle and just kind of pierce through the top so I can stick a piece of string in it. Wow, eggshells are hard. <laughs> Okay, you know what? The needle's not working out so well. We're not gonna use the needle. We're gonna put the needle away and then go back to our friendly old scissors. Well, it kind of cracked all the way down here. So um, 
I'm just not gonna let it hang. <laughs> Now we have a nest, right? We have two nests right here, but it's not complete until we put some baby eggs in it. So I never had these before. Oh, they're so cute. And they're different colors. Look at this. <laughs> they look like real eggs. Oh my gosh. Hershey's, that's awesome. Oh, it's cookie and cream chocolate. Duh, it's on the bag. <laughs> One, two, Three. We put chocolate eggs inside an eggshell. Oh my God. You can say it's exceptional. Two, three. So I wasn't able to hang these up like the Pinterest pictures. So I would probably give myself a six out of 10 for making this. I say that's pretty good, right? So we're gonna check out how our eggs turn out since we let it soak in here for quite a while. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna take out the green one. Oh, the green one did not really die at all. I'm gonna set that down there. It's almost completely dried, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put our googly eyes on there already and glue it onto here. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put the googly eyes on the rest of them. So far, doesn't it already look pretty scary? And I'm gonna try to draw like color some cracks on it. Lighter lines around as well. Ah! <laughs> it moved, it moved. It really does look like a little monster trying to get out. And do some little ones along the side. Judging by the picture and what I made, I think it came pretty close. I mean, it was a little bit hard to get the egg out and I think you're supposed to put tissue paper and then glue the eyeball onto the tissue paper for the hole, but I just kind of entirely skipped that step. So maybe I'm gonna give myself a seven out of 10 because I still made it work and it looks really cool. And the only one that didn't, the color didn't turn out that great was a green one. But wow, the, the pink and the blue one really died very well. So seven out of 10 guys. Oh no guys, I literally went to go check on my balloons and then the pink one just completely deflated. What did I do wrong? I, just, I kept you so nice. And now it looks like one of those, you know, sometimes when you go sailing on a boat and it's those drag kind of things, so packages tied to the side of the boat, but we might be lucky with this one. So let's give this one a try. It's kind of wet at the bottom, but it's really dried up here. So I'm gonna get a needle and I'm gonna pop this balloon. You ready? It's gonna turn out so cool, guys. I can't wait, because the pictures look awesome. Okay, ready, and... No! <laughs> what happened there? That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> no, it looks like a shriveled up grape. No, I can, I can try to fix it. <gasps> Why? <laughs> Maybe the original instructions were like, yeah, you're supposed to let it dry overnight. But I didn't have those instructions and now I just have this deflated, sad looking sack. Oh man. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Did you see how it inflated and the balloon was like. <laughs> I guess this is a zero out of 10 for me guys. This is, was an absolute fail. I thought that this was gonna be the best one, but it was the worst one. I think that's it for the five projects that we found on Pinterest of all these Easter projects. Honestly, they're really fun to make. I'm pretty sure I would have done a lot better if I had looked at the instructions. If you guys wanna give it a try, I'll put the Pinterest link in the description down below and you guys can maybe do it better than I did by looking at the instructions, but Totally give it a try, especially the monster eggs and the little exceptions, the little nest. I totally, highly recommend it. That's gonna be all for today, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.